I was in the throes of COVID and and not feeling <laughs> so great, uh, but it did happen. Samsung announced the S24 line of phones, and yay, there was much rejoicing. Uh, this is weird. It's always weird when something like this happens, because the S22 and the S23 were not that different from one another. The S24 and the S23, not that different from one another. I suppose the uh, the thing that Samsung is pushing and the, the sort of marquee uh, feature here is AI that Samsung is bringing to the table, which, which is cool, which is, you know, some people are like, well, I don't want AI in my phone. AI is already in your phone, okay? This is a different kind of AI. It's a generative AI. You've got computational AI. If you take a picture, you've got AI. Okay, so AI exists in your phone. You're not getting, like, Skynet in your phone. Samsung announces these things, and I've got links down in the description below to where you can get, like, some special deals that, that I was able to get links for, uh, where you get an extra $50 and, you know, all, all kinds of different things. Anyway, links down in the description for those things. You can go to Samsung's website. Samsung has some special colors. They have some different things there that you can get uh, through my links. And if you go through those links, those links do help me out uh, and, and give me a little bit of a kickback at no cost to you so that I can keep feeding my, my grandbaby and, uh, <laughs> and myself, although I'm trying not to feed myself as much anymore. But let's talk about what we've got here with the Samsung S24 series. Okay, so we've got S24 Ultra, which if you buy it pre-order, you get bumped up from 256 gigabytes of storage to 512 gigabytes of storage. 512 gigabytes of storage, very nice. You've also got this crazy trade-in deal where instead of $14.19.99, it's, you trade in something and you, it's $550. And if you want one terabyte, you can, you can pay $600 and something dollars. $22 a month from Samsung for 24 months. But we all know that Samsung makes these deals every year to the point where it's it just make they want you to upgrade, okay? They want you to upgrade because they need to fill their their sales report with sales. And these days phones are so good that you can hang on to a phone. I think now Samsung is going with Google and saying, we'll, we'll upgrade these phones for seven years. Seven years. So you could have this phone in, tw what is that, 2031? You won't have this phone. Nobody's going to have this phone in 2031, but you can. So I applaud that. Samsung and other Android manufacturers are extending the time that they are going to support their phones, which is great which is great. But also at the same time, they are extending these deals that make it so that you're like, you're making money going from one phone to the next. So what do we got here? We've got these three colors are the special, the special Samsung website colors only. We've got, uh, we've got our titanium green, which is actually kind of a mint green. That's a nice color. We've got our titanium blue. This is kind of sexy. And then we've got uh, our titanium orange, but then we've also got purple, violet, and a gold or a yellow, black. That's not really black, but you know, and then we've got uh, regular titanium gray. So if you've followed the iPhone and uh, it's different titanium colors, this is a different, this is a more of a pastel take on the titanium colors than what we got with the iPhone. 512 gigabytes of storage. I wasn't fortunate enough. Uh, I lost my privileges and, and didn't get to get a hands-on with this device. However, I will say that having skipped the S23 last year, I will be getting this phone to, um, to review and to check out myself because, especially, particularly the S24, because the S24 now has a totally flat, screen. This thing is very, um, how shall we say, iPhone-like, I guess you could say. Very squared off with slightly rounded edges, but the phone itself is, um, is pretty darn square. So 
The differences between phones are not nearly as as great as they once were, even if they were ever all that great. Uh, Samsung has improved many things. You've got your Snapdragon Generation 3 chip inside, which is, of course, the, the latest and greatest this year. So you get a 750 trade-in, instant credit for any number of things, I guess. You've got a 200 megapixel zoom on the camera, which is not necessarily a new thing. Of course, the AI is what they're pushing. Uh, the display is up to some incredible amount of nits that will burn your eyes out. We've got the S24 Ultra, the S24 Plus, which might be a sleeper phone this year in terms of like not wanting to spend all the money on the Ultra or you don't want the S Pen. The S24 Plus might be actually worth buying this year. And of course the S24, the baby brother of them all. 5,000 milliamps, 4,900 and 4,000 milliamp hours. Wireless power share, yes. Storage options up to one terabyte for the Ultra, storage options up to 512 for the Plus, and up to 256 for the Samsung S24, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 4 Galaxy. Uh, the 4 Galaxy means that it's overclocked slightly. 12 gigabytes of RAM, 12 gigabytes of RAM, only 8 gigabytes of RAM on the S24, S Pen in the Ultra, as always, and then... 5G, of course, because 5G has changed our lives. But no, finally not. Uh, let's see. We've got 200 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 50 megapixel, 10 megapixel, 1,000 times space zoom in the front camera is 12 megapixels. And then we go down to 50, 12, 10, 30 times space zoom with the 12 megapixel, megapixel, megapixel front. And then we've got 50 megapixels, 12 megapixels, so basically the same cameras for these two, these two, and then we've got the 200 megapixel on the, uh, on the wide, the, the 200 megapixel wide angle here for the ultra, uh, the apertures here, F 1.7, 2.2, 3.4, 2.4. Do people look at or think about aperture? when using a smartphone camera. I'm sure some people do, but I mean, generally, I, I just like, I open it up, I, I, I expect the camera to make it work. So we've got flaw detection. I don't even know what that means. Uh, ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And then we've got um, 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X, 6.7, 6.2. So Quad HD plus flat screen. 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate, 2,600 nits. That's going to hurt if you get there. And you can't get there inside. It's only for outdoors. Uh, basically the same thing here. And then the S24 is uh, full HD+. Plus. Both of these have like a rounded edge screen where this is a totally flat, totally flat screen. And of course, you've got some smart AI type stuff in here that's uh, optimizing your scenes for you. In the box, you get a phone, you get a USB-C to USB-C cable, you get a SIM card tool. That's it. That's it. That's it. So should you buy the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra Plus or just regular? <sighs> It's hard to say. The one thing that is a that is a that is a negative for me, and and this was not really publicized all that much in the announcement, but people have recognized it since. Uh, my friend Adam from Tech Odyssey uh, told me about it. All of the AI features that are now brand new in these phones are free until twenty twenty five, and then I guess they're going to be um, like a subscription or something, which. I'm going to bet dollars to donuts that no one will ever pay a dime for the AI features because who would? <laughs> I mean, Samsung wants to push forward this AI stuff. You know, people aren't going to have it free for a year and then pay extra next year. That's just not going to happen. Not going to happen. So I wouldn't worry about it. But it is something that, again, Samsung sometimes makes these really bizarre decisions about things. However... Does it look like a solid phone? Yes. Did the S23 Ultra look like a solid phone? Yes. Do I like the look of this one better than the S23s? 
Yes, I do. I really do. And I'm kind of in love with this blue color. So, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, if you have the S23, if you have the S22, do you need the S24? No. But is it really about need at this point? I mean, the changes in smartphones these days are so incremental that, that they almost border on the cosmetic. Yes, there's always one new feature. Maybe there's a, something different with the camera, but it is the same phone. However, Samsung makes it really attractive to trade in the phone that you had last year and get the one that you want, that's available this year for super cheap. How do they make money on this? Well, I don't know. And I don't know if they know, and I don't know if they care. They just want to be able to put on their quarterly balance sheets that they sold a bunch of phones. Okay? Um, it's a shell game. See? It goes like that. <laughs> and I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But I think if if you either have the money and want to spend it or are at the point where you want to upgrade to a new phone, the S24 seems like a solid option, as the S line does every year. Of course, we still have the Galaxy Folds coming later on this year. There's a lot of other phones still to come out later on this year. One Plus 12 is coming out. I have that phone. I'll have a review for you. Otherwise, uh, yeah, links for the Samsung stuff down in the description, again, does help out me and the channel when you use those links, and it does have a few extra little special things in there that'll get you uh, a little bit more money off the price if you click them. So thanks once again for being here. Once again, my name is Jason. Sometimes known as the JTL. This is Pink Man's Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I am out.